everyone, this is Woodsworth, and welcome back to another video. And you might question why I am... Okay, how am I not underwater? Okay, well, you may question why I'm underwater right now. Well, check this out. So I got a Respiration 3 helmet from an end city, and I thought today we should put it to use. Not drowning myself in the Eureka Mines, but to go to a sea monument. I, for one, do need some sea lanterns for my base. Yes, I know I need a ton of stuff for my base, but it will all be worth it when it's done. So I've been getting decked out, I got a new shield, um, and this way I can breathe longer underwater. And I think we are uh, ready to go raid the monument. But first, check this out. Uh, okay, and I'm already going in the wrong way. So I added a layer around here, and I added a few essentials. Like over here, we have somewhat of an auto smelter. Uh, and then we have the smoker, the bed, and then I added some chests over here for storage, and I started a little mine area. But now it is time to go to the sea monument. So Max already found one and gave me the coordinates a while back so we can head there now we shouldn't be too far now all right the coordinates were right around here but i'm not seeing anything. Oh, okay, there it is. There it is. Alright. We have arrived. So, unfortunately, I don't have Silk Touch. And I, get, I did have a Silk Touch book, but I gave it to Dart. So, now, I'm just going to have to get Prismarine Shards to craft First things first, we have to get rid of, uh, the, uh, the Elder Guardian. Uh, mining fatigue. Um, this is gonna be a little bit more difficult than I first anticipated. You can go backwards in a boat? Somehow I never knew that. Okay. Time to shove food in my mouth. Go. Go. Yes, I'm in. Okay, there- oh! Are these Max's doors? I believe these are Max's. Um, oh, they can hit me through doors. Oh, well, that's just great. I need to take out the, uh, Elder Guardian. And we're going. You know- okay, nope, we're not going this way. We're going this way. You never saw anything. Alright, I don't think I uh, went this way yet. Hopefully there's something. Okay, I see movement. There he is! Yes! Okay. Now die. Why are you not die? Yes! Yes! Dead! this makes it go away. Yes! Yes! I can mine! Hopefully we can drain this monument so that we can mine it easier, but all I have is wet sponges. So I'm gonna go mine a ton of sponges and then get a furnace and dry them. Alright, so, I got some more sponges, and I also mined the blocks of gold, so that's pretty cool. But now, 
we can start draining the monument. Not the entire monument, just part of it. And this way we can uh, mine building materials like 10 times easier. So I'm just going to clear out a few rooms so that I can mine the walls and the floor for their materials. Yes, I am going to strip this entire monument of its resources. Okay, here's the guardian fight room area uh, at the top of the um, monument. So after I clear this out, it shouldn't be too hard. Alright, so I just restocked from the furnace up there, and now I can't get up there because it's kind of dry, but check this out. We have one, two, three, four, four stacks of prismarine bricks and almost a stack and a half of prismarine. However, I do not have much dark prismarine as it's a little bit more rare, but now we do have some more sponges to clear out the monument. From all that, we get a grand total of 15 sea lanterns, which seems like nothing, but it is enough just for my base. And silk touch really would have been helpful, but I can do without it. So look at look at how much stuff we got. We got a little over a stack of dark prismarine, three stacks of prismarine, and one, two, three, four, five, six seven stacks of prismarine bricks. So I'm actually going to do a little bit of mining just to top off um, our dark prismarine stash to have two stacks. All right, we are back. And now I can replace some of these ugly torches with amazing sea lanterns. Yeah, that looks like 10 times better. There we go. We now have sea lanterns. Get rid of this lighting up the base. However, I think I am going to add a few more in the walls, possibly, but for now I think this looks pretty good. Alright, there we go. I think that looks pretty nice, but that is going to be the end. Oh, let me, let me put my good helmet on. And but with that, that's going to be the end of the episode. So, if you um, enjoyed, please consider subscribing, and remember, you can join this SMP as long as you have Java Edition, so link in the description, but with that, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next episode.